Hey guys, Nova Explosion. Welcome back to more Wild Arms 3. Give me that gunshot. I love that sound effect so much. I think this is my file. Yeah, we're in Claiborne. We just did the stuff in Kadingle. This is gonna be different. Still gonna be the uh, vocal version. Yeah, this is the exact same. I don't even know if the other video got copyrighted because... I don't think the stream with that version of the song hit YouTube yet. So I have no idea. We saw it once before. Anyway, we did the stuff in Kadingle, if I'm not mistaken, and we have to go to Little Twister. It's located, like, west, I think? I'm pretty sure? I think it was, like, west of Claiborne. We do need to go get horses because we can't pass the little we can't jump over the crevice without horses i have 2900 gela which isn't much at all and i think the horses cost like 2000 i do have like six gela cards i should probably start using them just to get more money uh anything i want to sell i don't really want to sell that one water gem i like to have some gems but i have like three of these i'll gladly sell just to give me some money. Yeah, I should be fine. Let's see if I can get these horses. The crevice west of here has caused many headaches for travelers. There's no bridge to get across, so you have to jump across on horseback. If you want, I can prepare four horse, four Claiborne born and raised horses for you all. I highly recommend. Absolutely. It's a deal. Thank you. I'll have them saddled up for you outside the village. Take good care of them. I think we have to do that to move on the game because you can't pass crevices without horses. Which is what the townspeople told us. Little Twister's wet. Yeah, we talked to you already. I remember that dialogue. We got like the hey, Little Twister's west of uh, Claiborne. I'm very... I'm excited to be playing this. I'm loving my little Wild Arms marathon I got going on. So I'm really excited to see where this game goes. I'm trying to just look around and see if I like miss treasure or something, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, okay. Let's just go get those horses. I also think we have the item that's like a whistle or something, and the whistle like calls horses because they had those in the shop. But luckily, they just have the horses right here. Yo, okay, perfect. You can cross the plains on the horse much faster than you can on foot. Press the directional button or left analog stick upwards or hold the X button to gallop quickly. Press directional button or left analog stick right and left turn are cool. cool. Nice. Alright. And just jump over this. I can. Let's go. You can even use the search system with the horse. The white dot's me, right? Yeah, the white dot is me. So somewhere west of here is going to be Little Twister. Where exactly? No clue. That's Wild Arms 3 in a nutshell. I mean, I can't really complain. They gave me- Yo, you get the battle on horses too? That's awesome. I like that. That's really cool. Get wrecked. I'm sure this doesn't change, like, the fundamental gameplay, but just the idea of riding on a horse while shooting is amazing. That's really neat. Should've had Gallows open with magic. I forgot we're at the point where we have enough force points to just like open with magic. I haven't played this game in like five days. <clears throat> oh my word, my throat. I had to really cough. Oh, I've been diseased. That's really neat. I was not expecting horseback battles. I like that a lot. Please, please, please. Give me this place. It's a little easier, at least, with the horse to search. Because it looks like I can search and then, like, pivot a little bit. Anything over here? Nope. Oh, I found something? Is that Gela? Yo, I'm down. Give, give me the give me the thing. I, I can't pick up the Gela. What is happening? You guys should be weak to fire. I mean your your trees. I'd be shocked otherwise. 
Get wrecked. I just love the idea of fighting on a horse. Yo, Darkman, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Probably the only one I finish. It's a good game. This is a lot of people's favorite Wild Arms game. A lot of people think highly of this game. I'm only like nine hours in, give or take. So, I mean, it, it's been fun so far. But I also, I played Wild Arms 1 and 2 and I loved both of them. I'm loving, based on the two games I played and the little bit of three I played, I'm loving the Wild Arms series. Please give me this gala. What is happening? I have to like get off the horse. Okay, you do have to get off the horse. Luckily, when you get off the horse, it doesn't like, you know, make it run away. Oh, I found it, I think. Let's go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Thanks, buddy. So I'm assuming that you always have the horse. The horse like doesn't run away, but if you for some reason don't have a horse, that's where the whistle comes in. Would be my guess. How's it going? Yeah, we got four of these. I want to have a few of these stocked up because I'm not sure what the game's going to want us to do here. And I think I bought all these status heals just in case I didn't buy this for sleep. What's this? Cure status ailment glass? Nice. We just want a ton of status ailment heals. Those are boarded up. The rusted nails indicate that the owners have left years ago. I guess a lot of people packed their bags and left this place. Probably a wise decision, considering the current state of this town. We just got here. Do we really know the current state of the town? Medical items sell like hotcakes in this town. But when I think of why it sells so well, I begin to debate whether or not I should be here. Just the other day, I met this Belle dressed in really fancy clothes. She was wearing some kind of flashy, fluttery cloth. She was really beautiful, like some kind of heavenly maiden or something. What drives me nuts is that no one believes me, and they go on to say that my brain is buzzed from all my drinking. But I saw her with my own eyes. I did, I tell ya. I have to admit, I was drinking at the time, but I really do have a good memory. Yeah, okay. It's all coming back to me now. I met this girl the night before Claudia disappeared. Why don't people believe me? You, you believe me, don't you? Whatever you say, dude. Whatever you say. I believe you if it ends the conversation. Four's okay, I thought five was better. Four and five are the ones I don't hear people talk about much. But they have that hex battle system. What a world we live in. Only the strong survive and only the bad succeed. That Janice Cascade guy actually grew up here. Of course, I plan to surpass him one day. Go, go, go. I'm interested in playing all of them. Yeah, 4 and 5 are either just not talked about enough, or just... They're just not talked about enough, or it's like, hey, they're not as good as the first three. They have their followings, from what I hear. I will gladly stay here. Won't know until I play them, on what my opinion will be. We're like halfway through our we're basically we're coming up to halfway on our wild arms marathon because i just gotta play four and five i also want to play alter code f and the psp game but i'm focusing on the main lines that's my goal we're half we're like coming up to the halfway point of like all the main lines it's been a really fun time you know claudia from the saloon the one who disappeared boy she sure is a fine woman Everyone from around here are head over heels about her, but I don't think it's a guy who kidnapped her. It's not like I got any proof, but I think it might be one of the girls who are just jealous of her. Could be. This is the sheriff's office? Is this a Wild West game or what? Why, why did I press square? I thought I was, um... I thought I had Rudy's radar for a second. The damp jail cell cells give off a foul odor of a combination of elements. I didn't want to fall into a sorry plight like this there <clears throat> oh my word can my throat not be so scratchy right now especially in the game where i have to read a decent amount all these houses i like can't go into so like who am i talking to only the strong survived yeah janice cascade that janice man janice is like a demon now or something right and then the prophets came and everything that's where we're at in the story 
I tried Alter Code F a couple times, didn't grab me. Alter Code F is a weird one. There are some people who are like, oh, this is a better a remake that's better than the original, but there's some who are like, oh, it's not as good as the original. Apparently, it's like a... It's a different enough experience that if you played the original, it's worth a play just to see, like, oh, how different it is. Hit the bell. Horns are kind of fluttery. Yeah, okay. But did I ask about the second thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I did that already. Is this a different part of the town, or am I just leaving? Yeah, okay, here I'm just leaving. That doesn't leave me with many options on who to talk to. There's like no one in here? How is there just no one in the sheriff's office? Come on. Three's my favorite, not far above two. I love Wild Arms 2. Wild Arms 1 and 2 are really close. I think I do. I think I like two more. I think I like, I like two just a little bit more than one. Also, wait, is this a... What's this? Oh, you can... Okay, you can turn this. Whatever that's doing. But, um... Wild Arms 1 and 2 are really close. I think I prefer 2. Even though 2 has, like, a few things that are like, oh, I think Wild Arms 1 does better, but... Overall, as a game, I probably prefer 2. Just barely. They're both very good. Oh, there's a chest right there. People are way too hard on 2 for its, uh, its translation's, like, not as terrible as people say. Like, it's questionable, sure, but people are way too hard on it. Welcome, uh, chat. You know, business hasn't been good lately. In a town like this, it was my regular customers who helped me stay in business, but they haven't been coming around lately. I get a lot of rush jobs, like I need to kill someone now, so I upgrade my arm in an hour and stuff. Of course, I'll do it if the customer has good credit with me. Yeah. I'm thinking about joining a guild. I can't give you a discount, but I would appreciate your patronage. Oh, yeah, just one thing. Try not to die, okay? Or else I'll end up starving to death. Okay. I don't think I really have money to be messing with arm upgrades right now as much as I want to. It's not the best idea. Oh, Peppy Acorn. I've seen worse translations. Probably Breath of Fire 1. Oh, I haven't played... I've only played Breath of Fire 3. I have not played 1 or 2. I also want to play 4, because that's a PS1 game. Okay. Mine? Grab bag? Who on earth do I possibly have to talk to to move on the game here? There's only so many people I can talk to. to Armsmith. And that chest up there I really want. The first two are like, um, I know they're SNES games, right? I think they're on the Nintendo Switch Online. At least Breath of Fire 1 is. I really want to re- I want to replay Breath of Fire 3, and then I want to play 4. Like, because I've heard good things about it. Do I chat with you? Of course I chat with you. So you want to make some gala, huh? Well, my barmaid hasn't- My barmaid hasn't shown up for work in days. How about y'all go find her and drag her back here? Guess not, huh? You're looking to hit the jackpot? Uh, I can't seem to recall. Yeah, how about 500 Gela? 
You sure? Okay then, can't you just sign here on the label? Ah, I remember now. There's been an untouched ruin recently discovered. Many drifters has gone, have gone inside but haven't come back. There must have been something worth guarding inside there. It's a real dangerous... It's real dangerous though, words. Hmm, I think it might be too dangerous. Yo, we're out of here to... We're not out here to meddle in people's affairs. Our goal is to, after, is to go after a prize as long as the risk is in line with the rewards. Dangerous ruins and powerful artifacts go hand in hand. And this might be a good chance to get in touch with the memories of the world. Memories this, memories that. I have no interest in something so worthless. Yes, Jet, we get it. You want money. What are you talking about? Fond memories are priceless. I'm sure you have some fond memories tucked away inside your heart as well. The thing is, I don't. That's why I can't put a price on it. What? I've been a drifter for several years now, but I have no recollection of what I did before that. I don't know where I was born or my age, basically, I don't know who the hell I am. Ah, the classic amnesia trope. Even my name is just something I was called by this man who taught me how to survive the wasteland. Jet was the first thing he called you. Amnesia, is it? I don't know. It's just so weird that I would have this completely blank period. Yeah, it's called amnesia. But it doesn't stop me. I mean, think about it. Do you remember what you were doing a week ago? Do you remember what you ate a month ago? Even if you can't remember, so what? I get by, you know? You don't need memories to carry on in your everyday life. I'm sorry. I think I touched a nerve. You don't have to apologize. I told you I'd get by. I don't need your sympathy, okay? Alright then, I have a plan. I'm gonna help you find your memories. That's what I'm gonna do. A Vir Virginia just wants to solve, like, everyone's problem. I respect it. Ugh, <laughs> oh, I said I don't care about my... Ah, oh, just give up, will ya? She has the upper hand on us when it comes to debating. Do you have any leads to find out about this, his memories? Do you have leads when you search for memories of Phil Gaia? We have to search for leads first, right? We're not gonna find anything by sitting around. You're right, she does have the upper hand. Well then, what do we do now? Do we have for this dangerous ruin? Clive, I think we both know the answer to that. Hmm, I haven't thought about that yet. Alright, how about this? We're free to choose whether we want to accept this mission or not. So we'll mosey on over to the ruins, and if it seems kind of risky, then we'll just head back. How about it? We're not cowards. Hey, you're right. Let's just head to the ruins. Remember, we're not taking any risks. Yeah, no risks. Let's just go out there, have some fun, make a fortune. Alright then. So where are these ruins? The ruin that has devoured many a, dri many a drifter is located northeast of here. Rumor has it it might have even belonged to demons from history. I know it sounds crazy, but don't let that stop you from talking to me. I can't do uh, I can't do a Western accent, by the way, or Southern accent, whatever that woman's dialogue is supposed to be. Breath of Fire Three is pretty good. Still need to probably play for properly play for words. Yeah, Breath of Fire Three was good. It wasn't like best game ever, but it, it was good. I enjoyed it. I only played it once though, and it was a really long time ago. Well, long time ago is like six years, but I mean for me that's a long time. I enjoyed it. I bought Breath of Fire 4 on my PlayStation 3 via the Classic, I just never touched it. But I want to play it, because I have a goal to play a lot of PS1 RPGs, because it's my favorite era. And also, I enjoyed 3 enough where I'm like, yeah, people say 4 is pretty good, I want to give it a try. Oh, I wish they would. I really wish they give us more PS1 ports to the PlayStation 5. I would love it. You gave us Wild Arms 1 and 2. Give us some ports. I would love it. Xenogears would be amazing. I doubt it's gonna happen, but can you imagine if Xenogears got ported? Get wrecked. Like giant pigs. Ba 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 ba. Open sesame. Kick that bad boy open. Oh my word! Two fire gems, one water gem, pixie dust, and a heal berry. Eight heal berries, not just one. Northeast. That's this way. I already find it. That was easy. 
That was the easiest dungeon search I've ever had to do.